Okay, so you clicked on this video because you're interested in finding out what's the difference between a steep pitched roof, a low pitched roof, and a flat roof. Let's get started. For our subscribers out there, you know who I am, but for the new people out there that's new to our channel, my name is Zach Blinkensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. We do projects all the way from Billy up the street all the way through the United States government. Now, you might be wondering what this is I'm wearing. Well, just uh, brag a little bit uh, on our channel. I just completed a marathon last weekend, so my first marathon completing, so I was kind of happy about wearing my medal, but I got this bad boy for completing all 26.2 miles of the Greenway Marathon in Nashville, Tennessee. Anyway, let's get started with the video. All right, so we're gonna mainly stick to the subject. We're gonna really talk about the three different types of roof. Now there's, um, and the reason I'm gonna break it up into three is I want you guys to understand what uh, a high pitch, a real high pitch uh, roof is, particularly when it comes to how we think of it as contractors, but there's uh, there's two ways of really classifying. There's low pitch and high pitch, or low pitch and steep. Now, low pitch in the terms of the, the broad terms in roofing is typically flat roofing, and anything uh, in flat roofing is gonna be your 0.5. Um, so again, we're not gonna try to overload you with information here, but if you're familiar with rise and run, in the roofing world we do everything by divisible 12 or 12 inches with your rise and run. And what that is, is basically how to get your pitch of your roof. Now we have a video on how to get the pitch. I go into more detail. So in this video, we're not gonna necessarily show you how to get the rise and the run. Just understand that the numbers that we use, low pitch is gonna be, uh, or, or in our flat roofs are gonna be typically from 0.5 to uh, two over 12. And then when we start moving into our steep pitch, um, you're gonna get anywhere from three over 12 up to about a 612, and then a what we consider a, a very steep pitch or a high steep uh, pitch roof is gonna be 712 or higher. Now, so let's go ahead and start off with what we're talking about with the flat roofing or the, the low pitch. Now, guys, you, you're, you're familiar with seeing these with like commercial buildings, um, anything where you don't see an actual pitch of a roof up there, that's more flat roofing. Now, there's the systems are completely different flat roofing than what they are um, on your steep pitch roofing um, and what you see on houses and stuff like that. Obviously, uh, you can't install shingles on flat roofing. There's uh, totally different systems. So some of the most common flat roofing uh, products is TPO, EPDM, uh, Torch Down. Um, there's a bunch of different uh, different types of uh, flat roofing out there. TPO is kind of taken over as being the uh, go-to. Uh, go to flat roofing option just because it's waterproofing capability and then also it's longevity uh, and you know the cost it's 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 pretty much taken over the market now there are still, still some great options and there's still metal roofing you can do on a flat roof but even even flat roofs as we call them are still gonna have a slight pitch there's gonna be uh, anywhere from like I said a 0.5 over 12 to about a 2 over 12 is your flat uh, flat roofing now when you move into what we consider again uh, sloped roofing okay now you basically can break this down into two categories and the way I'd like to break it down is do it by the by the, again the 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 rise over the run or the pitch of the roof so we'll do from 3 over 12 or 312 to 612 now this is uh, what we like to call is walkable so that means that you can get up there on, on a roof and a, on a pair of tennis shoes and walk along the roof and you're not gonna have to worry about necessarily falling off because the roof's so steep so we refer to those as a walkable roof now, most of your residential homes, including my house, is a walkable pitch roof. Now, your, your, your most common roof pitch probably in America is probably at what we call 412 pitch. And typically a 412 pitch is about the minimum that your shingle manufacturers are going to want you to install shingles over. Now, you can install shingles over a 312 pitch. Um, there's certain things you have to do uh, with a lot of the shingle manufacturers on installing it on a 312 pitch. Some of them require you to put out some water shield down over the whole roof. Um, they will uh, maybe 
recommend you do double layers of your underlayment. The point is you can do it, but 412 is really, uh, that's why you see so many 412 pitch roofs is because that's really where the shingle manufacturers say, okay, this is the number we feel comfortable with. Because on an asphalt shingle roof, it doesn't, the water does not, it's not, so not a waterproofing system. What it is, is it's designed to shed water off your roof. Now there's of course a, a, a host of different roofing options you can do on uh, any type of what we call walkable pitch or 312 to 612. But asphalt shingles is obviously our most common in the U.S. You have metal, you have, um, you know, you have your uh, decorative metal, you have slate, you have uh, uh, cedar shakes. All those can be installed on those types of, of, of the slope on those on those types of roofs. So, but anyway, that's what your most common is. So, you know, look at these pictures, and you'll get to see, kind of see how that actually looks. Now, your high pitch uh, or your steep slopes. Is what we really refer to anything over a 712 or 712 and greater is what we consider really like a high steep pitch roof now if you're a homeowner and you're trying to climb up on a roof the first time and you have one of these steep pitch roofs please don't climb up there if without <laughs> without any type of uh, supervisory help uh, guys first off it's dangerous um, guys and girls if y'all want to if you want to climb up there it's dangerous um, when you fall off a roof, you already have a lot of momentum coming as you're coming off the roof and then typically everybody's eaves or the bottom part of your roof is anywhere from 8 to 12 feet minimum. So, you know, and if you're an adult like me, uh, now in my 30s, uh, a fall off 8 feet can do some serious damage to your body. So, those will be referred to as a steep pitch. Now, you can see pitches everywhere, anywhere from, like I said, a 712 up to a 1412 to a 1612 and it gets, you know, pretty extreme and there's different shingles. Um, or, or roofing materials for the really high pitch systems and stuff like that. Some uh, manufacturers actually recommend not installing some of the uh, some of the types of roofing systems when the, when the pitches actually get too steep too. So that's just something to keep in mind. But the, and the biggest reason I'm, I'm bringing up this stuff over 712 pitch is for you homeowners out there, don't be climbing up on your roof. Have a you know an actual roofing contractor or at least you know a salesman from a roofing company come up there uh, and get on your roof if you need something. We have. Uh, especially uh, shoes to climb up. A lot of us carry harnesses with us. Um, a lot of us, you know, if, we, if we're on a really steep pitch roof, we'll have one of our uh, one of our guys with the company come out and spot us on the ladder, stuff like that. And we have drones, so we have. There, there's just a lot of uh, things that we have technology to be able to do that's going to keep you know you homeowners out there safe and you business owners if if it's uh, if this that type of uh, uh, property. But anyway, um, those are three types of basic systems again you can break it into two groups and say low pitch and high pitch but I like to break it into three just because again there are some you know high pitch systems that don't work in low pit, uh, low slope situations are 312 to uh, 612 but again if you go 0 0.5 over 12 to 2 to 2 over 12 for your flat roofing our walkable sections 312 over 612 and then our high steep or our, our high pitch roofs or anything that's a 712 and above, that's really how I want you to classify uh, the different pitches on the roofs. All right, so that's it, guys. I, I try to keep this simple and try to explain again how the the pitches are different. Again, how you can classify this. Again, I think it's important for a lot of different ways. Uh, mainly just because, uh, again, if you're a homeowner and you're trying to get on on the roof, I think it's important to know. Uh, where the, the cutoff is on, on safety. And again, anything that's 612 and below, I feel like most homeowners, uh, you know, as long as you have somebody out there spotting the ladder, can get up there. Um, anything above that, don't. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, it would do us a lot of help if you give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoy our content, please give us a subscribe. We've had a lot of subscribers lately. I really appreciate all the people who's came to our channel and subscribed and as always at Digital Roofing Innovations we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.